the COVID-19 pandemic has shaken the whole world and has sent us clear messages. It has shown us the strength of global cooperation and that no one is safe until everyone is safe. With the WHO, we built the global framework to accelerate the development of COVID-19 vaccines, treatments and tests, the ACT Accelerator. The EU has invested 4 billion euros in research and in the production capacity of vaccines, now being delivered not just to the EU, but to countries all over the world. The COVID-19 pandemic represents a shock of historic proportions for our economies here in Europe. But we are not forgetting those hit hardest. The EU, through the G20, has been supporting efforts to provide developing countries additional fiscal space and debt relief so that they can spend on health and social protection, including to buy vaccines. The world cannot afford that the COVID-19 crisis also turns into a debt crisis for many developing countries. And we have not forgotten the most vulnerable in hard-to-reach or conflict-affected areas where COVID-19 further aggravated their already dire situation. The EU's humanitarian air bridge has been instrumental to bring over 1,150 tons of vital medical supplies to the most fragile communities in 20 countries all over the world. The EU's civil protection mechanism has also been key to facilitate logistical support of vital medical supplies donated by our member states, most recently oxygen cylinders and ventilators to India, but also vaccines to our partners. We will further support with 100 million euro the rollout of vaccination campaigns in several African countries with fragile health systems and humanitarian settings. We are determined to fight the virus beyond EU borders. Team Europe has mobilized over 40 million euros to help our partners address the pandemic. But people need vaccines now. Half of the 400 million doses produced in the EU has been shipped to our partners. Through an almost 2.5 billion euros investment in COVAX, Team Europe is leading efforts to share vaccines around the world. More doses will follow with the EU vaccine sharing mechanism. But our commitment goes beyond emergency measures. We must make sure this is the last pandemic we face. We are working hard to help partners better prepare for the future global health threats to prevent crisis with investment in health systems strengthen. Team Europe is also developing an initiative with African partners to boost pharmaceutical capacity in Africa. Because in the end, there is only one race, the one against the virus, and we will only stop it together. <laughs>